Welcome, friends. I'm Andy, the storyteller. Today, I have another fun adventure to share from Farmer Brown's Dinosaur Farm. So grab your favorite stuffy and find a nice, quiet spot. We're about to take a trip to Farmer Brown's Dinosaur Farm. It was a warm summer day on Farmer Brown's Dinosaur Farm. It was almost like a normal farm. The sun was shining, the birds were chirping, and the iguanodons were running around. Okay, maybe that last part isn't normal for a farm. Farmer Brown was always busy. He and his dog Rover worked from sun up to sun down. He took care of the dinosaurs, which meant he had to feed them, herd them, and even be their veterinarian. Farmer Brown was the alpha dinosaur. That means that since he raised all of the dinosaurs himself, they all trusted him. They treated him like he was their dad, and all of the dinosaurs loved him. One day, Farmer Brown noticed his oldest triceratops, Sarah, was not feeling well. She was very grumpy. I don't know if you've ever been around a grumpy triceratops before, but they are no fun to be around. They stomp their feet, swing their tails in the air, and let out a terrible sound. <coughs> Farmer Brown noticed she was not happy. When he walked up to her, she would turn her head and pretend she was invisible. She'd close her eyes really tight and lay very still. Farmer Brown had to laugh at the silly Triceratops. Oh no, he'd say. Where is Sarah gone? Then he'd stomp his feet and pretend to walk away. After a moment of silence, Sarah would crack open one eye and peek out. Then she'd open the other eye real slow and lift her head up. That's when Farmer Brown would pop back up. Sarah was never impressed. Finally, Farmer Brown realized that Sarah had a toothache. That was not a big problem, but it was a bitey problem. He got Sarah to open her mouth, and there was part of a tree limb stuck in her back teeth. Farmer Brown wedged his foot into Sarah's mouth and pulled. It didn't budge. He pulled harder. It still didn't move. He gave it one more try and pulled as hard as he could. The next thing you know, Farmer Brown was in the air. Sarah had tossed him. He landed splat in the mud a few feet away. Farmer Brown was covered in mud from head to toe. Sarah seemed to smile. Dinosaurs don't laugh, but Sarah seemed to. This was not going to be easy, thought Farmer Brown. He cleaned himself up and thought about his next plan. Farmer Brown knew that brushing his teeth always helped keep them clean and healthy. So he thought he needed to get a dinosaur-sized toothbrush. The problem was, there were not dinosaur-sized toothbrushes at the store, so he had to make one from what he had on the farm. He went rummaging around his barn. He found a pitchfork. Nope, too pointy. He found a broom. Nope, too soft. Then he found the perfect thing. It was a big scrub brush he used on his tractor. It had bristles that looked like a big toothbrush. This was going to be great, he thought. Farmer Brown found Sarah right where he left her, lying on her side, looking sad. He brought the scrub brush up to her face. He tried to push the scrub brush into her mouth, but then he quickly found that she did not want to brush her teeth. She bit down on the scrub brush and whipped her head around. Farmer Brown was still holding on. He found himself once again landing splat in the mud. As he stood up to clean himself, he wasn't any closer to being a dinosaur dentist, and he was down a tractor scrub brush. Farmer Brown sat down under the shade of a tree. Rover walked up to him and dropped his favorite tennis ball. Farmer Brown threw it. Rover ran, caught it, and brought it back. That's when Farmer Brown had a fantastic idea that wouldn't get him tossed in the mud again. Farmer Brown tied a rope to the end of the chewed-up tree limb in Sarah's teeth. He tied the other to Rover's tennis ball. 
Rover and Sarah were very curious as to what was about to happen. Farmer Brown tossed the tennis ball into the air and Rover went flying after it. He got the ball in his mouth and was so proud of himself, he began to run and run. That's exactly what Farmer Brown wanted. Rover ran so far with the tennis ball tied to the rope that Rover pulled the limb right out of Sarah's mouth. She was so happy. The toothache was gone. She stood up, shook off, and walked up to Farmer Brown. She placed the side of her head up to Farmer Brown's chest. This was as close as anyone could get to get a hug from a Triceratops. She trotted over the hill to be with the rest of the Triceratops herd. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story. Here are some facts about the Triceratops. The Triceratops lived in the late Cretaceous period. It had four legs, a bony horn on its nose, and two horns above its eyes. The Triceratops was a herbivore, meaning it only ate plants. It also had a beak-like jaw and slicing teeth to pluck and chew plants that other dinosaurs couldn't eat. Make sure you ask your parents to follow Farmer Brown's Dinosaur Farm so you can hear more stories from the farm. This show is sponsored by The Secure Dad. Parents can learn new ways to have safer, happier lives at thesecuredad.com.